Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Joham Review. So today I'm going to react to the episode 11 of Homie Can't Communicate Season 1. So in the previous episode, uh, it was all about sport uh, event, you know, from the school, typical uh, rom com having many uh, sport festival, you know, and at that time. Everyone was doing everything they can to uh, achieve some kind of uh, score, you know. And of course, they wanted to support Kumi the best, you know. And the funny part was when Tadano suddenly became even faster when he got cheered by Kumi, you know. He technically <laughs> destroyed the sound barrier, like he became flash at the moment. But although he only won uh, third place, I guess, I don't know, maybe something like that. But even so, and of course, Fumi's mom visited them and everyone's so gone. Uh, everyone's very <laughs> fascinated and uh, amazed by someone as Fumi's mom suddenly appeared and she talked so much. Uh, from different perspective, you know, it's uh, Mark, uh, from their pers perspective, they think that Kum is uh, talking, but it turns out it was just her mom. <laughs> but even so, that sport festival was fun to watch. Everyone was doing their best. Dano, uh, Kumi, okay, especially Kumi though. She just the one who suddenly stole the spotlight at the very end. Although she didn't want like second place only, but even so, it was good. I actually like the part, and I expecting some uh, new things from this episode. Although I expected that it will be another uh, uh, another event thing, probably. But anyway, let's see and watch this episode eleven. Wait, there's a crisis happening right now. Episode 3. <laughs> oh, I mean, I already expected there will be a cultural festival, so I guess. Oh, okay. Man, it's been so long since I re uh watched the opening. It's like two weeks ago, I guess, since I watched episode ten. So one thing I can say is that they probably are viewing what type of uh play or kinda boots they wanted to perform or they wanted to do in the cultural festival that suited for Kumi probably like maybe I'm guessing it's probably like a made coffee or maybe typical thing it's like haunted house you know but I don't think Kumi suited for that one although maybe it's made cafe it's just my guess but yeah But even so, Komi is making friends now, so it's a good thing for her. Good for her. Okay. I forgot that Tadano is the class representative. Oh, there's two, two choice. I mean, there's multiple choice, but the most famous one probably like the maid cafe in the haunted house. Just like I said, man, 
Alegra sa IP. Haunted house. This one has a very uh, ulterior motives, you know, a dark one. So it doesn't quite fit for her. But everyone agree with her, so I run up the same things. Oh shit. I guess every kind of event they wanted to do, uh, everything has an ulterior motive, you know, a goal for that. Applicable only for Kumi. They wanted to they wanted to do that just for to see Kumi. To be part of it. It's pretty weird, you know, like this guy is a ninja and the other one, the other girl is wearing a, <laughs> a cosplay armor or something. I didn't think she has a fan club though, Makero. What the hell? It doesn't look like on the table. Say who more to vote. Oh, the maid cafe. Oh, that's an that's an awesome maid outfit for her. Okay, we had a we had a boat. Oh, the whole class became one. You know, you should have done that from the first uh, time. You know, you could have just asked what Kumi's uh, decision, and then everyone will have decided already. She has a goddess seat, you know. But I'm pretty sure she wanted to help though. So I guess everyone's just uh I don't know why, why for some reason she's uh, a typical slot girl, slow one.
Oh, she's getting left behind, guys. <laughs> she's so slow, like totally slow when it comes to talking, slow on her movements, man. No, she disappeared. Oh, <laughs> you know, this is just a simple interaction between three people, a uh, very energetic one, a uh, very slow person, and a, uh, a girl with uh, this communication disorder. So, this typical three, you know. And I'm sure Tadano knows what happened now, even though He's not there. You know, Tadano is like a person who actually can understand Komi without even, I mean, like reading his, reading her mind or something. <laughs> so just, they're gonna have to distribute uh, flyers. Najim is power, very powerful when it comes to, to communication, you know, she can make everyone friends. Oh shit. She ate. 
Oh, that's that's good. That's a clever thing. Give you flyers to one of your acquaintances. Ramen dalo. Oh no, these two. These two can can actually understand each other. <laughs> Coco Oh, you're gonna have to find out where's Komi's Uligiri. Let me guess, Tadanus will be the one who get that. You know, I doubt it that everyone can actually get uh, Komi's. So, by some chance, Tadanus will get that. <laughs> oh yeah it is a nigiris i mean <clears throat> it is kumis the one who made that square shape onigiri You're cute. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're getting a uh, side character's backstory for some reason. An extra person, probably. <laughs> oh man
Every maid has their own personality. They have their own agenda. <laughs> A mixture of maids. And very clumsy, probably. Oh. Oh shit, no. Don't. Damn. Uh. <laughs> Man, it fits perfectly, you know. <laughs> okay, misunderstanding. Oh shit. Yeah, damn, this. Oh no, sister. She's gonna find out. <laughs> no. No. It was like that after all. To be honest with you, it looks pretty good though. It suits perfectly. To him, <laughs> man, it's hard to completely ignore that. Everyone will probably. Okay, so uh, there's a continuation of the part 2 cultural festival. <laughs> okay, so Tadanus cross-dressing maid outfit made everyone think that she uh, he looks perfectly for that outfit. Man, even I getting full about it, but just like they said, uh, it takes the best man to be the best girl. Wait, 
that the right term or I might jinx it up. Nah, I don't. I forgot about that person. It's like one of the YouTubers people who always mention that kind of words, you know. Anyway, so it's kind of <laughs> awesome that they did a cultural festival after the first sports festival thing, and who is wearing a uh wore a made outfit, I guess, and it looks cool, I guess, and also uh uh. Her family came in, visited the place, and Shosuke, her little brother, was very famous so fast. You know, they had the genes of being uh, very charming people, you know. A family of full of handsome and beauties, man. Cannot win against those people, you know. <laughs> it's always fun to see that, you know, three beauties getting inside the school and we're getting introduced some kind of uh, very few side characters always you know this anime is always full of so many extra characters that always get some kind of small spots uh, spotlight in each episode <sighs> man it's gonna be lit and we're gonna see that in the next episode about the continuation of the sport uh school uh cultural festival thing you know and i doubt it that uh the diners getting off with that made outfit you know maybe he might try to walk around the school while wearing that you know that's gonna be funny part <laughs> but hey anyway it's a very wholesome episode and i like the debate the, the argument debate between each student which of the boats they want to do to do in the culture festival you know the very first ep uh, intro episode thing man that's gonna be awesome so anyway if you like this video subscribe now bye bye